Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this practice problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In a previous video, we discussed the role of the hypothalamus and other areas of the brain. One role of the hypothalamus is to control the pituitary glands. In particular, oxytocin and ADH, antidiuretic hormone, are released from the hypothalamus into the posterior pituitary gland. Antidiuretic hormone is responsible for telling the kidneys to reuptake more water. Antidiuretic hormone will maintain the amount of water in your bloodstream. So if you don't have enough antidiuretic hormone, you're going to be excreting too much water and you're likely going to suffer dehydration as we witness in this practice problem. The way that I remember that antidiuretic hormone is responsible for maintaining your blood volume is that it's called antidiuretic hormone. Diuresis means too much urination. The way I think about that is di means two, so you have two times the urine. Diuresis. Too much urine, right? And so if you have antidiuresis, it's going to prevent too much urine being produced, it's going to maintain that blood volume in your blood. Also remember that this practice problem discusses breastfeeding. And the two hormones that relate to breastfeeding that are controlled by the hypothalamus are oxytocin, which is in charge of milk letdown, so the actual release of breast milk, and prolactin, which prolactin will increase the amount of breast milk being produced. I like to remember the hormones being produced by the anterior pituitary gland using the acronym flat peg. In terms of the posterior pituitary gland, I think of PAO, which sounds like POW. So whenever I think of the posterior pituitary gland, I think of POW. Because the hypothalamus is involved in the production of oxytocin, ADH, and prolactin, answer choice C, hypothalamus, is the best answer here. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, please be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking for a way to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we will see you next time.